Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to setting we're going to be setting this uh, value to zero initially when the button has been clicked, and then we're going to just create um, a set interval timer, uh, which is going to uh, gradually increase this value. And this obviously doesn't have practical applications, but it shows us what the progress bar will look like uh, once it is in place and actually has a real value to uh, to feed back to this uh, to this widget. So just for now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line here, and I'm going to create a new variable called interval, and that's going to be equal to set interval, and inside here we have a function. So we pull this down. Now inside here is what's going to happen uh, every uh, x amount of seconds, and we define the seconds just after this here. So I'm going to do 50 milliseconds, uh, which is obviously 0 0.05 of a second, uh, and this is going to allow us to if gradually increase this particular value every 50 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and uh, update this value each time. So we're going to say val equals val plus 1. So that's going to increase uh, the value here uh, by 1 every 50 milliseconds. And then what we can do is go ahead and implement or, or put this into the value of the progress bar. So again, we create, uh, we reference or select the progress bar div, and we use dot progress bar as we did before. But this time, we're going to go ahead and define a value in here, which will be equal to val. And because it's equal to val, every 50 milliseconds, this will increase by one, and therefore the progress bar will constantly update with this updating value here, this variable val. So let's go ahead and test that out, and then we're going to go on to look at how to relay this back to the percentage. So when I click Upload, you can see that that gradually increases all the way to the end. However, we do have a problem when it gets to the end. Now, the percentage, uh, the value, is constantly increasing now. So what we want to do is we need a way to break this interval, because obviously uh, this interval is still running on this page now, even though we can't see this beyond, fi uh, beyond 100. So the interval is still happening. So this is wasting uh, resources. It's taking up you know, too much um, processing power. So what we want is a simple check underneath here to say if val, in fact, we won't do this bit yet. We'll go ahead and update the, uh, the percentage. So essentially, all we want to do is we want to reference this percentage. So we use a selector percent. And we want to apply text into here. And that text is going to be val, and then we append on a percentage sign. So now when we uh, preview this in our browser, you'll see that not only do we get the progress bar, but we get an updating percentage as well. And you can see that going all the way up. When the progress bar reaches the end, uh, we assume it's still at 100. Uh, but in actual fact, the timer is still in place. So this percentage is gradually increasing. So obviously, we don't want this. So we want to break out of this interval. So. Although this is only for uh, demonstration purposes, we want to keep it as uh, efficient as possible if you do decide to run this uh, on, a live, on a live page uh, where people can access it. So I'm going to create an if statement with a block. And the condition is, if val is equal to 100, obviously that's at 100%, we want to clear interval. And the interval we want to specify is this interval here that we set, because we set the interval into a variable called interval. So we just clear interval, interval. So we define the variable that holds this set interval function. So now that that's happened, we uh, will have this value stop at 100, and the interval will be cleared, uh, and therefore nothing else will be happening. You can still this, see this is still going up now. So let's go ahead and press upload. You can see this is uh, gradually increasing. This time, when it reaches 100, the interval is going to be cleared. So we le we end with the uh, val equal to 100. So now that we've seen uh, the practical application of this, obviously it's important to think about why you wouldn't just use this uh, on its own. Uh, the progress bar has a limited amount of options, uh, and for this, because of this, it's uh, essentially because uh, we don't use it on its own. We use it to simply feed in a value. Uh, this might be from, you know, like I said earlier, an external PHP script that uploads or something on the page that feeds back a value. Uh, with PHP, you can feed back the percentage of, a de uh, of an upload, uh, and therefore you could uh, implement it into this value here, uh, as opposed to the mock-up value that we've created. 
So that's how easy progress bar is to implement and the value option to define how far along the progress bar is.